I was just looking at my worm bin and some of my lower levels are so heavily infused with castings that I'm thinking it's probably not healthy for the worms anymore. There is a point to where you need to get them to move before they just die from the toxicity of their own waste being consumed over and over again. So I'm going to make up some new bedding out of shredded newspaper and I just happen to have a shredder over here that I brought down from upstairs. But you don't have to have that. I mean, you can just tear it up in those skinny strips. However, if you got one of these, it's like... It's like the... Uh, Cadillac of shredding. See, it makes it into little bitty particles, and it doesn't take long for that stuff to break down. I'll show you what I mean. Over here, I have my alternate uh, worm bin. That's the one that I need to make new bedding for because it's getting too funky. And this one is one that I harvested more recently and made new bedding with it fine paper that I just showed you. Hold on, I'll show you how the worms like it. As you can see, these little paper pieces decompo decompose very fast. And look at all the little baby worms in there. That's just one handful. Some of them are getting big enough for fishing. They like it down in the deepest, funkiest recesses where it's, see, there's a lot of castings in here already too, and that bin's only been going for, oh, I don't know, a month month and a half. Yeah. So that's why I grind up the paper like that. But you don't have to. I mean you can do it like this, like I did over here. And just tear it into shreds. I just put this in the top here to absorb excess moisture. Now what I'm going to do in a few minutes here is make a new bin of this and try and get these guys to migrate up out of this funk because the deeper I get the more it is castings especially down here this is like is like uh, almost totally comp composted with wor from the worms eating it but it's loaded with worms still so I got to get them to move up or move down I, I guess what I'll do is I'll make a new bedding and put it on the bottom and get them to move down and I'll just kind of move this stuff to the top this is not quite as funky as that but it's still it's very close to being finished compost so I want to get as many worms to move as I can and it takes a while See, that one just pulled off my finger and stuck to the wall. It's like spaghetti. I mean, when you think about the fact that they're turning newspaper into dirt, basically, you really, it's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm very impressed. Okay, well... Now what the hell is that? That's the second one of these I've seen. Some kind of larvae. Oh, that's a centipede. I don't want to screw with that. All right, man. <laughs> that's the second one of those I found in there. I don't know if I like them or not. So now I've shorted up a couple inches of paper. And then I'm going to mix an equal amount of compost. 
that came from my compost tumbler. It's a, uh, you know, leaf mold and, uh, I don't know, mostly household garbage that's been turned into dirt again. These are the two key ingredients. And then for grit, I'm going to need like a handful of sand. And then I just start adding, then I just start adding, uh, you know, my household garbage to it. Of course, I will, I will dampen this well before I, with the rainwater, before I actually put it in place. But that's, you know, you don't have to do much work. And I'll show you at the next step. All right, I'm going to add a handful of sand, some coffee grounds. Ah, oh, heck, I'll, I'll throw that whole mess in there. They'll devour it eventually. Mix all this stuff up. And water thoroughly. You don't want it to be soaking wet. You want it to be the consistency of a, a damp sponge. So you, you know, you put some water in there, kind of work it in. The worms make a lot of their own moisture too. The worm bin makes a lot of moisture, I guess is what I'm trying to say, not the worms. Was, I guess the worms make some of it, for sure. I'm using rainwater for my rain barrels just because, oh, uh, I don't know. I don't like the chlorine in the water around here. But this is just about a perfect bedding. So I, I'm going to put it second to the bottom to try and get the ones on the bottom to come up and the one above that to come down. And then I'll kind of move this, or move those trays around as time goes on. I know they say just to, just to add the new tray on the top, but I've got worms through three different levels, so I don't know about that. So that's pretty much that. I put it. That very funky one was at the bottom level. Now I put the new bedding, and then I've got my two other ones that are almost finished. Put that on there, put it over in the shade on the other side of the house, and I'll come back and check it in about a week. <laughs>